Hey loves, it's Brianna. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, click that red subscribe button while you watch. Today I'm sharing with you some DIY Dollar Tree and Target Dollar Spot gift ideas. I know that the holidays can be really expensive, so I wanted to come up with some very budget-friendly gifts for teachers, coworkers, for her, for him, just a variety of ideas and really pretty crafts so that you feel like you're giving something that looks a lot more expensive than what it actually costs. So we're gonna dive right into crafting. I'm gonna walk you through exactly how I make everything on this table behind me. This gift is under $10 and is perfect for him or her if they're a car owner. But I decided I'm gonna actually make this for my husband, Adam. I found this adorable wood letter for $1 in the Target dollar spot. And then this charcoal zipper bag was $3. And I thought it matches the interior of his car really nicely. And I found all of these car supplies at the Dollar Tree. This mitt was a dollar. These refresh odor eliminators were a buck. And then same thing, there's a tire cleaner, a glass cleaner, and then an Armor All seat protectant. So as you watch this video, let me know which gift ideas are your favorites and make sure you click the thumbs up if you like these DIY videos on my channel. So this next gift could cost you anywhere from five to $10, just depending how many packages of cards you end up buying. But a gift for my grandma, because I know that she loves sending out cards to her friends. I found this little Dollar Tree tin. I had just a couple of stamps that I'm gonna throw in for her. But I found a really cute set of cards at the Target Dollar Spot. These were $3. And then at the Dollar Tree, I just got a variety of like Christmas and thank you and some blank note cards that I know she can send out to her friends and our family all throughout the year. And I thought that this tin, if you didn't want to do anything to it, I thought this one was actually really cute because it has a bunch of postcards on it. But because I want her to be able to use this year round, I'm going to upscale it a bit. So you can see this box has now been spray painted rose gold. And I found this adorable snowflake ribbon in the dollar spot at Target. It was only $1. That I'm gonna use for this box. And I'm super excited because this video is also a collaboration with my friend Emily. Her channel is called Mama From Scratch, so if you want some more really good Dollar Tree gift ideas, Emily is the queen at this. Like, she has the best Dollar Tree craft videos. Whenever I watch hers, I'm so inspired. She thinks of the most creative things to do, and she makes things look so beautiful on a budget. So if you are not already subscribed to Emily, please, when you're done watching this video, head on over to her channel, watch her video, and make sure that you subscribe to her as well. This next gift set is for my mother-in-law. I found these really cute rose gold frames at the Dollar Tree. I got an acrylic paint pen at the local craft store. I'm just making little snowflakes all over them, but this could be something fun that you could have older kiddos do and really personalize it and make it a cute decorative gift for the winter months. And I know I'm gonna be giving these to my mother-in-law, but these would be great for any family member who might really enjoy having some updated family photos to display around their home. You can give them something personalized and really cute that they can put on display. I know I really need to go get my nails done, but I deprioritized it because I figured since I was crafting and doing a bunch of cleaning this week, I would just mess them up anyway. So I'm going to wait and treat myself to get my nails done soon. All right, I'm gonna set these off to the side and let them dry. Okay, now that these frames are done drying, I'm just going to add some cute silver bows to each one. I really like these. I feel like they're fun and simple and I sort of want to make some for my house now too. All right, this next gift is perfect for any mom friend that you have in your life. I found this adorable rose gold glitter bucket in the Target dollar spot and then I got a bunch of supplies from the Dollar Tree. So there's a diaper kit. There are three diapers in here. There are wipes. There's Lysol disinfecting wipes. There's some hand sanitizer, a pack of fruit snacks. So all of these from the Dollar Tree, 
five bucks in a three dollar bin so we're at eight and then this personalized letter was one dollar in the target dollar spot so i'm also going to just be adding in some grocery bags because i feel like you need these to either throw in dirty diapers or soiled clothes when you're in the car so i'm just going to add those to the bottom here and then put in some tissue paper And before we get too far in, it is time for the letters of the day. I'm gonna put them right here on the screen for you. Now, if you're new here and Emily sent you, make sure you definitely say hello to me and introduce yourself in the comments because I love to get to know who's watching. But go back to Vlogmas video number one if you want to enter the giveaway because it's over $1,000 in prizes. The $500 Amazon card, $500 Spa Finder card so you get a self-care day, and a $100 credit to Grove Collaborative so you get all those cleaning goodies to get your New Year started off on the right foot. So keep writing these letters down and on Christmas, you have to unscramble them, have the correct entry, and then we will pick from all of the correct answers who the winner will be. For this next gift, everything is from the Dollar Tree. I got all of these different multicolored glitter packages, these foam brushes, these glass hurricanes, they're like little mini hurricanes, and these different colored candles. And while the Dollar Tree doesn't have these large Mod Podges, they do have smaller containers. So you could find a small Mod Podge container at the Dollar Tree as well. And I just brought in some paper plates to make this craft a little less messy. Yeah, just so you know, if you decide to make these, I would say the quantity of the glitter packets if you wanted to do one that was just all one color, you would need at least three of those little tiny packets to coat one of these mini hurricane holders, so. With this one I decided to make like a traditional Christmas colored candle holder with the green and gold, and then I'm gonna put red on the top here. So there is the red, green, and gold Christmas one. And since again, it basically takes three packets to fully cover the hurricane, I'm actually just going to mix up three of the packets that are all like a similar rose gold color so that it's blended, and then I'm just gonna fully coat this one. rose gold one. I feel like it turned out really, really pretty. Okay, so this next gift is going to be a hot cocoa jar. I got this jar from the Dollar Tree. I washed it out, don't worry. Um, and I got a package of Swiss Miss hot cocoa mix from the Dollar Store. I got marshmallows from the grocery store, but they did have some marshmallows at the Dollar Tree, but I'd already had these at home, so I just didn't want to buy more. And I got a pack of the red peppermints from the Dollar Tree as well. So first, I'm just dumping all of the packets of hot cocoa into this jar. Once all that's in there, just kind of make sure then that it is settled, and then you wanna add in your peppermints. And by the way, if you don't like the sound of peppermint hot chocolate, you could skip the peppermints altogether, but if you do use the peppermints, just kind of layer them flat on top of the hot cocoa. And finally, just layer those marshmallows at the top of the jar. And you can see it looks like super cute when it's layered in the jar like that. And finally, I'm gonna take some of this ribbon that I also got at the Dollar Tree, and I feel like that just helps kind of dress up the gift a little bit too. All right, so for this next gift, you need any sort of a jar. These first two candy jars were from the Dollar Tree, and I really liked the look of this one. It was in the Target dollar spot, and this one was $3, but I picked up more of the mints from the Dollar Tree in both red and green. So I'm gonna fill these up and attach notes that say, you were meant to be a teacher, you were meant to be a therapist, because these are really cute gifts that you can give to a teacher or 
like Landon's speech therapist or anyone else that you just wanna give a small token of appreciation to around the holidays. And same as that other jar, I'm just gonna tie some cute ribbon around these and dress them up. Okay, this next gift I feel like is perfect for coworkers, whether it is your boss or someone on your team or an intern. You get these mugs at the Dollar Tree. I feel like everybody needs coffee mugs when they're at work, if you work in like a traditional office setting. And then I found just these sprigs, and I'm gonna do one that's a Christmas theme and one that's like a winter holiday or could be great for Hanukkah. Um, so that there's like two different options depending on where you work and depending on what your coworkers celebrate. So I did one that says one sweet intern and one that says one sweet boss. And for the intern one, I'm gonna do a Christmas themed. And again, this one's gonna be a holiday themed. But I feel like these are nice gifts if you wanna leave them on a coworker's desk or on your boss's desk, because they can sit there in the mug and be something where you know they can nibble at the candy <laughs> that's inside of them um, and then use the mug at the office. But it's just kind of something nice that's not expensive, especially if you have multiple coworkers that you would wanna make this for. I mean, at the end of the day, these cost $5 each to make between the dollar mug the three packages of the kisses and then the little sprig all from the Dollar Tree. Right, one little fast break for the comment of the day. This is from Carrie Mosich. She says, Brie, your channel is quickly becoming my favorite. Thanks. You're living in your truth publicly, which is incredibly brave and must also feel liberating. We are not alone. Everyone faces challenges and shortcomings and we all get through. This mom community is strong and in my short six months as a mother, I have felt the support and love so fiercely around me. It's like magic. That's so incredible and that's exactly why this community that we have here is so important to me. And this is gonna sound so corny and cheesy, but truly the reason why every day I get up and I'm so motivated to make another video during Vlogmas, having one up every single day, it's because of you. It's comments like that one and the support that you've given me when I've had really hard stuff. This has been a really hard season for me and I'm just so incredibly grateful and appreciative. That's why like, I have to do that giveaway and we'll continue just trying whatever way possible to give back, but also continue creating this space because this mom tribe that we have, it is so important. Like life is about the connections we make to other people and especially on this motherhood journey, we need each other. So thank you, Carrie, for that comment. And I know there might be some new folks here. I'm also doing a quote of the day every day during Vlogmas to leave you with some inspiration. So today's quote of the day is Brene Brown. What we don't need in the midst of struggle is shame for being human. And I think that ties into even what I was saying. I've just, I've had a really hard season. We all struggle. We all have really hard points in our life. And I think not having that fear of being human and whether it's crying or needing to take time for ourselves or whatever the way we process those difficult things, just having that community support us and say what you're going through is normal, how you're feeling is okay, what you're doing in response is okay, you are human and you don't have to be perfect. So I wanted to share that just because I think this time of year especially can really bring out the feelings of struggle or hardships or stress. So you're human, you don't have to be perfect and it's totally okay if you're stressed out right now. We all are and hopefully this helps give you some ideas if your budget is something you are a little bit stressed out about. I hope this gives you some good ideas so you don't have to be as worried about what you're spending this holiday season. This last gift is great for any teacher. The chalkboards are $1 at the Dollar Tree. So are these glitter foam snowflakes packs of chalk that you can give as a gift to go along with this. And I'm gonna use some of that same ribbon 
also from the Dollar Tree. I'm gonna use tacky glue I got at the Dollar Tree. The only thing not from the Dollar Tree I'm gonna be using is this Bistro chalk marker just because I like how it writes better. I got this on Amazon. They also have it at craft stores, but you could use the regular chalk to make this as well. So there you have this little sign that says blank days until break and you can give it to them with some chalk that they can definitely use for the sign but also for in their classroom. And of course I think adding even just a $5 Starbucks gift card or something to these makes it then one, a personalized gift but just a something special for that teacher who does so much for your little one. Well, I hope that this gives you some budget-friendly gift idea inspiration. Don't forget to go check out my friend Emily's channel, Mama From Scratch, and see all of her ideas as well. And I'm posting every day at 8 a.m. Eastern time for Vlogmas now until Christmas. So I will see you tomorrow at 8 a.m. Bye, loves.